Hi folks, this is the Lightroom Blog Channel and I'm Sean McCormick. And in this video, we're going to do something specifically for Fuji users. And that is talk about a plugin that applies Fuji film simulation profiles automatically in Lightroom. So it doesn't matter if you shot with Provia or Velvia, this will detect it and apply it. So it'll take it away from the Adobe standard that you get on import and change it to whatever you shot with in camera. Hi folks, I was out in Port Tumna Woods today and I'm going to show you a really cool tool for Fuji users. So if you're not a Fuji user, you can skip this video. This is a plugin called JV-X-LR, which is John's Beardsworth. So Lightroom Solution is John's website and this program will automatically apply Fuji film simulations in Lightroom. So it looks at the file, it figures out what did you shoot with the film simulation in camera and then it will apply that. So even if you've just used the default Provia, it'll replace Adobe Standard with that. Now today I was out shooting and I was actually shooting using Velvia because I was shooting some vivid shots and I was shooting with a few different lenses. So some of these were shot with the um, the Lens Baby Trio using the Sweet Optics to give a, a kind of a sweet spot. And I, I shifted some of that was shot with the Velvet. This one here was shot with the Twist. And you can kind of see the swirl. And this one here then was shot with the Sweet, which I actually quite like. Um, I did a few variations on that with the Sweet though. Now, these look a bit dull. And the reason why is if I go D for develop, and I'll make sure AutoSync is off here now, otherwise we could make some horrible mistakes. So we're on Adobe Standard. Now, it would be great if there was some way of automatically applying bits and bobs to these so they'll all change to whatever was used in camera. Now, this is the point. If I was to do this using auto sync and select it, all of them would go to the same one. But let's say that I had shot some of them with Provia and some of them with Velvia. This plugin will let you have them go back to whatever was selected in camera. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run the plugin. So I'm going to go to Grid. And let me just show you the plugin first of all in Plugin Manager. So this is what it looks like here. It's very, very basic. Um, the fil Photos Film Simulation will be added as a child of this keyword. A tip is to use Maker Notes for Mac. Uh, and yeah, so it's just telling you which one to use for Windows. So that way it goes to the top of the list, basically. Now, there is one option here and that is to run without dialog box so it'll do it automatically without you having to go to a dialog box but we will do it with the dialog box to show you the dialog box we click done file plugin extras apply the film simulation profile to selected photos so that will look through these it'll load the plugin and it'll bring up the dialog box so it's brought up the dialog box and as you can see you've got an option to apply the simulation but you can then also apply a preset as well if you want so i'm going to click close for a second and i'm going to show you that preset um, so it's in my user presets and it's called for fuji velvia so just apply that there and so it does a little bit of a job of enhancing the photo automatically okay so i want that applied as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these images again. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select half of them. And I'm going to go full file, plugin extras, apply the film simulation, which is going to bring up the dialog box again, obviously. So I click run. So it'll take a couple of minutes to go through them. So it's not the fastest in the world. However, it does get the job done. So if we keep watching this image here, the preview hasn't updated yet. But as soon as the Velvia preset applies, it'll get even more punchier than it is right now. There we go, loading. And so it's gonna keep the preset. There we go, see, way punchier. That's what the Velvia film simulation does. But you can see it's gone through these here and the little dots here means that it's just loading the preview or creating the new preview. So 
So now what I'm going to do is, while that's happening, I'm going to go to the plugin extras, uh, plugin manager rather, and I'm going to turn on that box, like run without dialog box, and I'm going to select these ones here, and run the plugin again. And again, we're going to get the three dots to say that the preview needs to be updated. There we go, loading. Boom. Now that's probably a little bit too much, but that's mostly because of my preset. But you can see it makes a massive, massive difference to the photos. So that's just a couple more of the shots I was shooting earlier. So hopefully you Fuji users will be interested in that plugin. So if you went out and you were to shoot a whole card full of stuff and you were mixing between Acros and Provia and Velvia, for example, then this allows you to automatically have those show up on the computer without having to go to the bother of manually applying on each image, which makes it a great plugin in my opinion. So do check it out over on Lightroom Solutions. So it's lightroomsolutions.com slash jb dash xlr. Hey folks, hope you Fuji users found that useful. It's a great little plugin and it's definitely, definitely something that I'm using in my arsenal now. If you like the video, do hit the thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. If you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe. And uh, of course, it, you can get notifications as well, an email that will let you know what's going on by hitting the bell. And uh, Thanks for watching. If you want to share this in groups and things like that on Facebook, feel free just to let people know about the plugin, you know, because it is a great plugin. Thanks for watching.